All right, here is our system. X plus 3Y equals 5, and then 2X plus Y equals 5. What's awesome about this is you don't have to worry about putting it in Y equals MX plus B. We're not graphing. All I'm doing is substituting and evaluating, okay? It's the easier format. So let's do that. If I'm going to use substitution and evaluation, X and Y, there they are. So what do I have to do? I'm going to substitute them in place of both. Now, if they're going to be a solution to the system, the one thing that you have to remember is they have to work for both. They can't just work for the top equation and not the bottom equation. If it truly, truly is a solution, it must work for both equations, okay? So let's plug them in. So we have 5 plus 3 times y, y is 0, is equal to 5, all right? Let's work that one out. So 3 times 0 is what? 0, that's right. So I have 5 is equal to 5. Is that true? Yep, it is. So this solution, or this ordered pair, is a solution for that equation. But let's see if it's a solution for the other equation, okay? So let's plug it in. We have 2x, x is 5, plus y, y is 0, equals 5. So doing evaluation, I do multiplication first, 2 times 5. 2 times 5 is 10. 10 plus 0, uh-oh, 10 plus 0 is 10. 10 does not equal 5, does it? That's a big fat no. So because 10 does not equal 5, even though it worked for one of the equations and not the other one, in order for this to be a true solution to the system, it has to work for both. So you would say no, this is not a solution to the system, okay? Now let's try the other one and see what happens. So the top equation, these are x, these are y, so that would be 2 plus 3 times 1 is equal to 5. So when I do my multiplication, that's 2 plus 3, because 3 times 1 is 3, equals 5. 2 plus 3 is 5. 5 does equal 5. So look at that. Again, I have the first one, it's true. So let's try it in the second one, because that's where the tricky part is. So that would be 2 times 2, then plus 1 equals 5. So I do multiplication first, so that's 2 times 2. 2 times 2 is 4, plus 1 equals 5. Look at that. 4 plus 1, yep, that's 5. So now I have a check for both. Both of them are solutions. So since they are both solutions, I write yes. That is your ordered pair. That is your solution set. You would not write 5 and 0 because it doesn't work. Okay, so you only write the solution part that works. Now that is how you determine, make a judgment call as to which one is true because you plug it in. When in doubt, take answers, plug them in and see what you get, okay? Come back next time and we're going to do some more solving systems.